You stay up late last night with the TV on, then you saw a show that hit a record-setting level of piety. Hillary Clinton appeared on The Tonight Show. Watch this. Thank you, Hillary Clinton, for handling this difficult transition with more grace than I ever could have imagined. That being said, call me day or night and I will be there with a gallon of ice cream and two spoons to tell you, girl, you are so much better than him. Thank you, Hillary Clinton, for being the Hillary Clinton of American politics. I was with her, I'm still with her, and right now I literally am with her. <laughs> You've been a role model and an inspiration and a voice of reason in uncertain times. I could go on and on, but I'd like to get right to the point. Can I give you a hug? It's like the Albanian parliament saluting Enver Hoxha. It's just, ugh, I feel sick. So Greg Gutfeld joins us for, to answer this question. So that's Jimmy Fallon's show. Jimmy Fallon, in my opinion, is very talented and he always is. seemed totally apolitical and like a good guy. And he can drink. Know. Yeah, and I mean, I've never heard a bad thing about Jimmy Fallon. I doubt he wanted to put on a show like that. But he had no choice. So what's the answer? What I I don't know. The funny side note that a lot of people don't know is that Hillary, uh, when she brought those letters home, Bill asked if they came with phone numbers. <laughs> so if there is, if there See, is, he, he should have put that on the show. That would have been good. And I and I just came up with that. You know, if there is a hell, that segment is on a permanent loop. I think I, when I was looking at it, I thought that it was a. a it was a it was a skit and the payoff was going to be a Trump impersonator was going to come out and say thanks, you know, something like that. But it, when I realized that it was real, it just made it, 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 it. This is how far it's gotten that they have to appeal to their not to their audience, but to their peers. They are they, what you heard from those girls voices. Those are the people that work on TV shows. And that's that's the mentality, the sensibility. They're earnest. They really do believe it. They believe that she was shafted. They should be mad at her. This is what I don't get. They exactly. should be mad at her for running a lousy campaign because her lousy campaign got Donald Trump into the White House. Or one of the main reasons they should be, be resentful. They shouldn't be sitting there and treating her like Mrs. Claus. But what about her? So put yourself in Hillary's position. You go really? on the show. All these people come up and suck up to you. Greg Gutfeld, I have your face tattooed on my arm. You know what I mean? I, I love you more than I love myself. How do you, don't you, aren't you uncomfortable? You know, it's funny. Lou Dobbs has a tattoo of me on his chest. It, when, he, when we're at the beach, it's a bit embarrassing. But you know what? I learned to live with that sort of thing. Here's the d issue. This is the world's <laughs> first anti-victory tour. You know, it's like a really lame parade where there's just a car, a donkey, and two guys on a bicycle, and it just goes forever. It, 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 is, it is kind of, it's funny, pathetic, but also, it's wonderful. Because when you think about it, wouldn't you rather have her do this than be in the Oval Office? Given the alternative, she could be somewhere else doing this. Instead, she's doing this on, on, on uh, what's his face, Fallon's show. Uh, but I, um, I don't remember Mitt Romney getting letters on TV. How much does Fallon hate himself? I mean, he's an amusing guy, probably just wants to do his thing, do his art, and instead he's roped into this wooden propaganda. Yeah. I Isn't don't, he you know, I don't, loathing? I, I don't know him that well. I ran, him, ran into him at a bar, literally, and we wrestled for five minutes on the floor of a bar in Midtown. But that's another story for another time. The fact <laughs> is, I don't think he's a left winger. I don't yeah, think he's a liberal. I think I he's apolitical, and I think that he's just playing the game because he's seeing what Colbert is doing, and he's watching the how emotion is putting Kimmel. You know, it, you know, the, the po political writers in D.C. are going fanboy over Kimmel. I know, and that means so much to Hollywood types. I know, and art dies in the process. Greg Gutfeld, who's one art? Of the funniest people. Who's <laughs> art? Great to see you, man.